coriander. Love it or loathe it. <laughs> also called cilantro, it's the humble herb that divides people. So why is there such a massive difference in how we perceive its taste? Well, it's partly genetic. Taste receptors on the surface of the tongue, combined with the smell receptors inside the nose, send signals to the brain about what kinds of flavors we experience. But slight variations in our DNA can affect how and what we're able to taste. Coriander's flavor profile is made up of different chemicals, some of which have a distinctive soapy flavor. It's thought that people with a specific gene variant can detect these soapy chemicals, while those without that gene variant cannot. Another factor could simply be whether you grew up eating lots of coriander. As with life events, we also form memories of tastes. Outside factors can influence whether these become good or bad memories. Coriander dislike has also been shown to vary across ethno-cultural groups. For example, one study found that coriander dislike was more common for Caucasians than, say, for Hispanics, which makes sense given the popularity of coriander in Latin American cuisine. Given the variation and complexity in people's taste perception, it might be best to give your dinner guests the option of adding it at the table. The Australian Academy of Science. Because questions need answers.